You've probably felt it before, your stomach in knots during a stressful day or a gut feeling that shaped an important decision. And that's no coincidence. It's the gut-brain connection at work. But here's what most people don't realize. This is not a one-way street. The brain and the gut are in constant two-way communication each profoundly influencing the other. And when things go wrong, stress doesn't usually create digestive problems all on its own. It makes existing gut issues worse. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. The gut and brain communicate through a network called the gut-brain axis with the vagus nerve acting like a high-speed highway. Signals travel in both directions, from the gut to the brain and from the brain back to the gut. Your gut microbiome, which is trillions of bacteria and other microorganisms living in your digestive tract, plays a huge role in this conversation. These microbes help regulate digestion, immune function, and even produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. And in fact, about 90% of your serotonin is made in the gut, not the brain. And this means that your gut health can directly influence how you feel and how you think and how you respond to stress. But equally important, your brain can alter how your gut functions. And the two systems are partners, not rivals. So here's why stress doesn't tell the whole story. It's true that stress can trigger digestive symptoms, but it's rarely the root cause. Stress alone usually doesn't create chronic digestive problems. Instead, it tends to exacerbate an underlying weakness or an imbalance in the gut. So for example, someone with IBS might notice flare-ups during stressful times, or a person with a bacterial overgrowth or food intolerances may feel worse when under pressure. But in both cases, stress is pouring gasoline on a fire that's already down there. And the real issue is the underlying gut problem that needs to be addressed. And until that underlying root cause is dealt with, stress management can only do so much. When you're under stress, your brain can change how your gut moves and processes food and even how sensitive it feels. And this might mean bloating or urgency or constipation, but remember, these changes usually highlight what's already fragile in your digestive system. If your gut were completely healthy, stress would have a much smaller impact. That's why its stress affects different people differently. On the other side of the street, gut health strongly influences mental well-being. So an imbalanced microbiome, sometimes called dysbiosis, can interfere with neurotransmitter production and promote inflammation and contribute to issues like anxiety and depression and brain fog. And I see this in patients all the time, like literally almost every day. And this explains why so many people with digestive issues also experience mood swings or low energy or trouble concentrating. When the gut is unhealthy, the brain feels it. And when the gut improves, mental clarity and resilience, those things often improve too. The key is to support both directions, right? Both gut health and brain health while recognizing that the gut often needs to be addressed first. And I see this all the time. The gut is often the thing that's controlling everything else. So here are some practical ways to strengthen this two-way relationship. Number one, identify and fix underlying gut problems. Don't just mask the symptoms. Don't just take gas X and PPIs and this other stuff and whatever you're taking and just trying to treat the symptom. Get to the root cause of these issues. 
and things like food intolerances and micro imbalances and chronic inflammation, that will change a lot of how you feel overall. And most doctors don't do that. They don't get to all of that. Number two, nourish your microbiome. So eat really healthy, such as fiber rich plant foods and prebiotics and fermented foods that encourage healthy bacteria. And number three, use stress management as a supportive tool. So practices like meditation and breath work and yoga and sound therapy and all kinds of other things that you've heard of and can think of that calm the nervous system are super important and reduce the intensity of gut reactions. And number four, prioritize sleep. Sleep is restorative and a strong circadian rhythm supports both gut repair and mental health. And number five, consider things like probiotics and targeted therapies for your gut. These are things like high quality probiotics and things that professional care can help you figure out to restore balance in your gut. So to pull this all together, the gut brain connection is a dynamic two-way street. Stress does not create chronic digestive problems from thin air. It usually magnifies what's already happening down there. And that's why lasting relief often begins and generally begins with healing the gut first. And when you restore digestive health, you don't just calm the stomach, you also calm the mind. And I've seen this happen literally hundreds and hundreds of time, at times in my practice and in my patients. So maybe even thousands of times. So if you've been told that your gut issues are just stress, don't settle for that answer. Look deeper and address the underlying things, the gut imbalances, and watch as both your digestion and your mental health begin to transform into ways you probably never even thought possible. So if you need help with this, give us a call at the IBS Treatment Center. Distance is not an issue for us. We work with people literally around the world via telemedicine, and we'd be very happy to work with you too. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more unique updates on your health. And remember to take good care of your body. It's the only place that you have to live. Thank you for watching. We create informative videos like this weekly. So if you enjoyed it, please help our channel by sharing a screenshot or the link to the video on Facebook or Instagram or your favorite social media. And be sure to tag me wherever you post and let me know what you liked about the video and what topics you'd like me to discuss in the future. If you visit our website at ibsstreamingcenter.com, we're currently offering a free ebook on how to beat IBS. So be sure to check that out. It's time to take control of your digestive problems and get your life back. I'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel here, like this video, and leave a comment or question below. I'll do my best to read and respond to all of them. Thank you, and until next time. Yay, it worked, finally, it recorded. It's recording. Hallelujah. Uh, okay.